Hello everybody, welcome to another exhilarating episode of Heart to Heart. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to help your clients, your leads, see the value that you have to offer. Hello everybody, welcome to episode 10 of Heart to Heart. My name is Ben Hartley and on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to help your clients understand the value that you have to offer in order to actually have them pull out their wallets and pay for it. That's what we're doing today, right? Yeah, that's happening. Let's talk about it. There's a couple different thoughts that I have here. Um, Not fully fleshed ideas, but I think it comes down to this. Um, You need to first understand what is the value that your client needs at like a deep human level? What is the value that they actually need? And then what is the value that your client actually wants versus what you think the value that they want is? And there's a very different thing. There's a difference between what the client wants, what value the client wants versus the value that you think they want or even the value that you're going to step up and offer, right? And I think what often happens is as creatives, we're so hell-bent on our art and our vision and again, a service-based industry, solopreneurs, that we're like, this is me, this is what I have to offer. You either value it or you don't and we don't bend. Now, uh, I think this is the mistake that we often make as creatives because the, the trick is this, you actually don't have to necessarily bend on, on what it is that you, that, that you offer, what the value is, but you do need to understand how do you properly express it? How do you properly market it? How do you properly brand it so that the client's deepest need for value and their deepest want for value is actually translated. Does that make sense? Like sometimes what we're offering doesn't ki- like it doesn't compute, even though it's exactly what they need and exactly what they want, but because we're so stuck on our version of what it should look like that we don't actually get that message to them. So let's talk about what uh, when I say your client's deepest need for value, right? Because there's a difference. A client has a need for the value that they need to receive, then they also have their own wants. So let's go with need first. This is a this is like a well, let me just go with this route. Donald Miller story brand. Michael, Donald Miller story brand. Have you read it, Michael? No, sir. You need to read this. It's so good. So in, in, in the book um, Story Brand by Donald Miller, he talks about the fact that our clients, that people, <laughs> just like universally, and this isn't even about clients or leads, have three types of problems. They have external problems, they have internal problems, and then they have philosophical problems. The problem that you may be having with your value is you are only solving your client's external problem. For example, I'm a wedding photographer. My client, a bride or a groom, they have the external problem of, I need somebody to take photographs at my wedding. I literally need a photographer to be there to take pictures and document the story. That is the external problem that they have. Now, most photographers stop at that. They make a website, they make copy that's like, look, I take gorgeous pictures. I will be the photographer who will show up and who will produce gorgeous photographs. I will tell the story, I'll capture the memories, and I'll make an album for you, I'll make prints for you, right? And they stop at external problems, okay? So the problem with that is, that the other two uh, problems that your clients want to solve are actually far more important at a deep human level. Because while a client wants their external problem solved, the value that they're really looking for is the internal and the philosophical problem, which is this, the internal problem that your couple may have, and we're, st- we're gonna continue, Michael, we're gonna continue down the track of like wedding photography, right? So let's keep going with wedding photography. The, the internal problem that, that, that your, your couple has is um, like, is, do I, like, am I good enough? Am I good enough to even be having this wedding? Am I, like, am I good enough to actually be spending, like is my, is my wedding worth it? Am I worth it to be throwing this party? Like am I worth actually investing money into myself? I think so often our couples feel guilt actually investing into themselves. And and it's this question that we all have of, do I have what it takes? Now in a wedding, it's like, am I actually worth it? Like, does this, uh, is this wedding worth it? Is this marriage worth it? Is, is bringing all these people together and throwing this party, um, does it, is like, am I worth spending money on? Uh, and giving someone permission to actually value themselves enough, especially photography, 
to value yourself enough to create a portrait, to create a piece of artwork around yourself and the people that you love, you need to give people permission um, and, uh, and the value of letting them know that they are worth it, that they're worth investing in, that they're worth being seen, that they are worth remembering, that they're worth being loved, that they're worth celebrating, that they're worth being put up on a wall to be seen every day. People need to be reminded and called into that. And that's like an internal problem that they have. Do I have what it takes? Am I worth it? Then we go a level deeper, philosophical problem of like, does this even matter? Does what I do in my life matter? Does this marriage matter? Does my family matter? There's a deeper philosophical problem of that. Now, we could even rewind, let's go back to internal problems. I think another internal problem is, yes, okay, so external. External problem is, I need pictures. Internal problem is, I just, like, more than anything, I don't want to be, like, I'm stressed. My parents are on my back. My stepmom's on my back. Not my stepmom, my, my what are they, mother-in-laws? <laughs> my, my, could be your stepmom. My mother-in-law's on my back. Like, I just don't want to have to worry about all this stuff. Everyone's freaking out. Everyone's worried about this day, and I just want to enjoy it, right? That's an internal problem. I don't want to be stressing, right? So maybe that's the direction you take with internal problems. There's so many different ways that you could go with this internal problem. Um, and then again, the philosophical problem. Now look, philosophical problem could even go more like religious belief type of thing, right? Like that this isn't just about like a, a document between church and state. This is like, this is maybe, a, 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 this is deeper than that. This is something that's on a spiritual level. Um, maybe it's on like a, um, a humanity note. Maybe this is on like a, a, a conversation about rights and what are like inherent human rights, right? If we're gonna talk about marriage in 2018, 2019, depending on when you're watching this video. So know this, when, you, when it comes to conveying your value, you cannot stop. If you want a client to understand the value that you have to give, then you can't stop at external problems. If you wanna actually get someone to, to buy in on this, you need to go deeper with the value that you have to give, okay? Because these are just like deep-seated needs, the need values that your clients want. And if you can touch on that, if you can get them to see that, they're gonna understand it, they're gonna, they're gonna grasp it, they're gonna see your value separated from everyone else who's just, I'm a photographer, raise your hand if you're a photographer, right? Because you're solving more problems for your clients than just, I take pictures. Now the next thing is, what are the problems, what, like what's the value that your client wants? One of the other big problems that we have as photographers and creatives is we get that email, we get that contact form filled out, and then we pick up the phone or we send that email blast and we just chat, 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 and we just yap, yap, yap all about what we do and our style and when we got started and how long we've been in business. And on your day, this is you know what we're gonna do to blow your mind away and we're gonna make the most um, authentic images ever. We're gonna make the most like uh, high production magazine worthy images. We're gonna make the most badass epic pictures ever. We're gonna be in the bushes or we're gonna say we're gonna be on a fly in the wall. Look, I'm going all different directions with this, but we shove down our clients throats the value that we think they want and what I want to encourage you is before you step up to the plate to tell your client what their value is ask them really start to dig deeper and ask them questions what do they value what do they want you know when they look at their pictures you know 10 years down the road and they're smiling ear to ear they're so happy looking back at their wedding album what had to take place for them to feel that way because they're gonna tell you the value that they actually want. Not so you can bluff and lie about it, but so that way you can draw that out. Look, if I go to buy a minivan, maybe I'm buying a minivan uh, because um, of the, let me, I'm pulling this out of the thin air here. Maybe I'm buying a minivan because more than anything, I want space to be able to haul around my two kids and my dog, and I've got uh, a few skateboards and a bike that I wanna be able to throw in the back. And maybe I'm thinking about growing the family down the road and it would allow for expansion. But when I go buy it, the guy is just nonstop harping on uh, the, you know, it wirelessly charges my iPhone, the Bluetooth, the, the DVD player that comes down, and it's one of the safest vehicles out there. Now look, those are all immense values. But the value that I want to hear about is about the space and, and uh, how easily accessible it is and the convenience factor of this vehicle, right? Like maybe that's the value that I want to hear. It doesn't discredit the others. And so you guys, before you go out there spouting out the value that you have to give, if you want somebody to understand your value, to pull up their wallet and pay for it, they're looking for something. They want something. Spend time before you open your mouth asking them, what do you want? 
What do you actually care about? When you think about this day, how do you want these photographs to look like? When you, when you imagine them in your mind, what do you see? And that may be hard for somebody to tell you. And so then go the other route. Say, look, I get that that's hard. Because they may go, I don't know, I just, I... So then say, okay, okay, fine. What do you not want? What's the one thing that you want to make sure your photographs are not like, that the one day is not like? And what this is going to help them do is it's going to help them work through this. And you're going to say, well, like, shoot, I, I don't want super posed pictures. I don't want to be contrived. I don't want to be like super dramatic looking off in the distance all the time. I'm not for that. And you know what? Actually, as I say all this, I really actually just want someone who's just going to capture like the realness of the way that I remember my family. And they just told you what they want. Now, this allows you to better understand the, the, the photographs that you're going to really point to, the albums that you're going to really point to, the way that you're going to convey what you really point to. And it's going to allow you, again, not to bluff, not to make stuff up. That won't do you any good because then you're going to show up and you're going to shoot something that isn't what they wanted and then everyone's upset. No, but it's going to allow you to actually get them to understand the value that you have to offer because it's what you're going to be able to share, right? So, again, in review, step one, know this. There is more value that a client wants than just the external. They want more than just photographs. They want to know that they're worth it. And they want to know that what they do matters, that this whole thing actually has value and meaning outside of themselves, right? Do I have what it takes and does it even matter? Then, and that's going to be a tricky one. You're going to need to really sit on brainstorm on that and, and ask your couples, interview people. The next step then is they have their deep needs, but they also have their wants. Put their wants before what you think their wants are. Ask questions. Be intentional, okay? That, if you can get behind those two things, that is how you get someone to really understand your value that you have to offer, uh, pull out the wallet and pay for it. Michael, any other thoughts on that? I mean, that, that's at least in my, look, off the cuff, that's what I got. Um, you guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you listening to my perspective on this. Could you do me a favor? Could you actually share this? I would love that so hard. If you could share this video with someone who's trying to figure out how to better their brand, grow their business, attract more clients, attract more leads, share it while you're at it. Ring that bell, subscribe. That would mean the world to you guys. Follow me at, uh, you know what? One call to action per video. Don't follow me on Instagram at jbenhartley. Just, <laughs> just one call to action per video. You guys will see you on the next episode of Heart to Heart. Bye, everybody. I will do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all I know I'm not innocent You deserve a better man But let me just hold your hand once more Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out Ooh, ooh, ooh.